back to my channel. My name is Miranda Quigley and my husband Quigley and I are on a weight loss journey and you are tuning in to week five of an eight week challenge that we are a part of. And today is our day where we're going to our gym to test our RMR, which I believe is resting metabolic rate. I'll let you know for sure when we get there, but basically we're gonna test our oxygen levels to see what our hearts burn at our resting rate for our own bodies based on our oxygen levels. So our in-body testing does include that rate based on other information that you put in like your age, your height, your weight, things like that. This specific test is for like your specific oxygen levels. So that'll be kind of interesting to see. I don't know much about it. We're gonna find more out when we actually get to the gym, but I will share that experience with you. So what's happening? What are we doing? So we're doing the resting so metabolic fire. test right now. Oh, what we're gonna do is you're gonna sit oh, down in this chair. You're gonna relax oh, and breathe into the tube. Oh, and what it's gonna do is calculate your oxygen output and essentially tell us how many calories you burn at rest. And this is specific for my body, like based on my oxygen levels, right? Yeah, absolutely. So what I think my RMR is, is right around 13. Like I think the first time I weighed in, it was like 1391 according to the in-body test. So if I ate less than 1391, then I would, I would be in a deficit. So I guess we'll see how close absolutely. this test is. Cool, here we go. Cut off. So only only breathing in and out on this too. So if your mouth does get sore or it, it, because you don't like it, you can take it out. Just close cool. it off with your thumb. My ears pop. All right. If I need to take it out. If you need to, if you're just like. Am I gonna drool everywhere? You could. That's fine. Aha. Did I start? Yeah, pretty. As you can see, it wasn't very comfortable. It was kind of a long test. Both Quigley and I did do it, and I did learn a lot. Um, however, I, ha I have to say that I'm not so sure that I agree with my results, but how can I like question science? I just, I don't know. And not in a, my results weren't negative by any means. In fact, I think that they were probably too positive. Um, but this is what the results look like. You can see it kind of tells you what you burn, how much you eat, um, time to reach your goal weight. According to this, at rest, I burn, like, which means if I stayed on a couch all day and didn't move once, like, just through my sleep, essentially, if I slept for 24 hours straight, my body would burn 2,100 calories, which the in-body said that I would burn 1,400, so that's quite a difference. It's like 700 more calories um, than normal. Sorry, there's another plane. So, and, and this test also narrows it down to exercise. It tells me that based on my body weight and how I breathe, that in a, in a normal 30 minute exercise session, that I burn about 264 calories, which that sounds correct. I feel like I usually document a normal 30 minute session as 300 calories and a, a, five, a one hour workout at 500 calories. And I'm not saying I'm not saying that it's, that it's wrong completely. I think that that's just so different from what I've thought of my body that and and also if I actually did consume 2100 calories a day every day un unless it was like only 2100 calories of like protein and brown rice I mean like if it was super clean eating then maybe I could see that that would be like clean eating to like properly get bulky or, or like you know gain gain muscle things like that then then I would see how that would be in my favor I still will not eat 2100 calories, but it is interesting to see that maybe my body has just changed drastically, not just in eight weeks, but over the course of changing my eating habits, changing my workouts. 
Thank you so much for tuning into this channel. If you're interested in seeing more experiments or testing, body testing, please comment below what you'd like us to try. We're all about trying different things. We actually did just try cryotherapy, compression therapy, and salt therapy, which I'm gonna share those videos in the upcoming week. Our whole last two years have been an experiment for our health. We'd love to hear from you and also see what you're doing and hear about your journey. So like this video and make sure you hit that subscribe button because we post new videos every single week. Thanks for watching and we'll see you next time. Thank mm -hmm. you.